What is up you guys, this is Spidey1997 and today we're finally going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Warp for Cybertron, the Siege line. We finally have the new Voyager class Starscream. And another great figure, um, not a lot of people are a big fan of this figure. Um, I don't know if it's the old mode or the robot mode. Um, I'm thinking, I'm guessing it's the old mode because he does have a lot of kibble in the bottom of the jet. So that's another complaint that I also have too, but still a nice representation of Starscream. So before we take a look at the, the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging. So here he is, Starscream, Siege, War for Cybertron. A nice artwork of Starscream. Really like that. I keep saying I love the artwork for every character, but I'm dead serious. Like, it, all the artworks that they do for the character just looks awesome. I really like the way it looks. We got the Voyager class, of course. Same image that we would see. Starscream right here in robot mode and jet mode. And, of course, you can do this stuff, armor him up or something, but I don't really care for that. But... Yeah, so that's basically it for the packaging. Now, the only accessory he comes with are these two missiles right here. Or not really missiles, but they're kind of like his, uh, that, I'm guessing his gun. So, yeah, so, and of course, I do have the blast effect. Uh, you can put that on the back if you want, so that's cool. Um, you don't have to, but you can do that if you want. And let me just pop these in. And they do peg in really tight on this, so, yeah pop these out and just move this aside and of course here's starscream in the jet mode um i'm not a really huge fan of the way it looks um maybe from the top it looks nice but when you look at it from the side you can see his leg you can clearly see that's his leg um that's another grip i don't like but still they did what they had to do and you know it's not perfect but it's not bad either so and of course the back this looks cool this does not look cool at all um this is just i don't know what they were thinking um this piece is probably one of the most disappointing part of the figure um and the thing is that they use the fake cockpit and the cockpit is here and um another gripe too is they did not put a pin through this so this is the annoying the most annoying part of this figure so when you transform them, this thing likes to pop out really easily like that um, you can move any piece and this thing will automatically pop out and it, and it's very disappointing because this figure it does look nice but that just that part just annoys the crap out of me so yeah so here's the underside of the jet if you guys want to see how it looks on the underside so that's the underside of the jet here's the side profile from the jet the back another side profile right here and yeah you can see a lot of they did uh put a lot of detail on this guy um got some more uh battle damage worn look which is good decepticon logo on each side of the wings orange translucent cockpit right here you got the vents right here on the top some gray right here blue right here on the tip you can see some scratches right here um, would have been nice if they added more detail like that on this one. This one looks more cleaner than the other side. Got some red ping right here. Same thing, the battle scuff right here. And yeah, so that's basically it. You got the engine right here, which is painted with this gunmetal silver, which I do really dig. And you can see some battle damage right here, but that's just the chest for the robot mode. So yeah. So. Like I said, he's not perfect, but for what it is, I still really enjoy and I like how he looks from this uh, for this uh, alt mode. Um, like I said, the top looks nice, but when you look at it from the side, it just looks like a bunch of robot kibble just hanging on the bottom. So that kind of sucks, but it's okay because it's not perfect. And personally, I don't leave my Transformers in their alt mode, so he's gonna be in robot mode. So this doesn't really bother me at all. So. So to start on the transformation, what I like to do is I like to come up here and just untab these this piece right here. And this piece, it pegs in very tightly. So you can see this, oh, that's right, this pops out too. So this is on the hinge. This will come up here. This is also on the hinge. You just wanna see, see this peg right there that's gonna peg into that hole right there. So just bring that around and then tab this in and just push it in like that. Okay, next up, 
is you untab the wings like that. Right here, you can see these pegs right here that clip into this right here. And same thing here too, just untab the uh, forearm piece right here. You can see a peg right there that clips into these two holes right there on the side. So same thing here, tab that out. Okay, basically it. And then what you do is you come up here by the from the front, just split this open like that. And there you go. And bring the legs down. And another great engineering I do like is when you, <clears throat> his leg is folded up like this. So this is on a spring load uh, thing. So when you fold it up, it comes out so it doesn't have that gaping hole. So if this wasn't here, there would have been a gaping hole on the back of his leg, which I really do appreciate it when they do that stuff. So I really do like that. So that's a, a you know good engineering in my book. So rotate the waist around, just like so. Bring the toes out, bring the heel out. Same thing here. And that's basically it for his leg. And you can see this is starting to pop out. So just put that outside, okay? And then what you do is you fold this piece, well, fold the wings back, fold this piece around. Same thing on the other side, just fold this around. Bring this whole front piece like that and that will bring the head up. So just come up here and bring the head out if his head can come off come up there you go and then you bring the arms piece like that bring this whole piece down like that this will tap in like so bring that down and for his shoulders you just bring this down like that it's on a hinge just bring that down fold this back well I always forget this you just fold this out bring this piece down like that fold out the hands They're on a rotated thing so just fold that back like so and that's basically it for his arms same thing on the other side bring this plat uh, piece right here fold that our hands out bring that piece in and there you go there's his hand like that okay and then last but not least he's just oh I always forget this too. This gray piece right here in the back of his head, just unclip that. That just tabs into the back of the head. And there's a lot of junk just covering it, but you can see that right there. So just fold that piece down like that. Okay. And you got these pegs right here. They're gonna go into that slot right there. So just bring that down and adjust this and tab that in like that. And then once you're done, you just adjust the wings however you want. And last but not least, you can, if you want, put the gun right here on his uh, forearm. But personally, I like to leave him on the shoulder just because it looks, uh, I don't know, it just looks cooler like that. So just bring that down. And the wings, you can spread them out. You can bring them in however you want. You can rotate them up. So just display personal preference. So, yeah, so, and then there you go. And there you go. There is Starscream all in his glory. And man, he looks gorgeous in roller mode. The color on this guy just pops. I don't know why. Just to, in my eyes, they pop really good. Um, these, the just the character um, look for this guy is just gorgeous, man. Very classic looking. I'm really glad I, that, I, that I like this figure because I was really, the picture didn't do it justice. Um. I've seen some images of this figure and I did not like the way it looked. I thought it was too bulky. I thought it was too, um, it didn't look classic to me at all. But now that I have this guy in hand, boy, I was wrong. This guy looks really good in person. And I'm really glad that I picked him up because I really thought that this figure would disappoint me, but he did not. So I'm really glad he, that he did. And so let me, before I forget, let me show you the articulation really quick. So his head can look up about that far which because of the transformation. His head can look down about that far, but then it's, it just goes back up. Can look side to side. And another thing too is that some all the Star Scream figures that I have have this thing right here that covers his face. And when you turn his head, it's covering his face. So I, I'm really glad that they put that on the back. Um, his shoulders can go all the way around, but it's kind of blocked by the wings. Does have a bicep swivel. His um, 
Our shoulder can go out about that far, which is nice. Bends about, oh, double jointed knees, um, knees, uh, elbows, which is good. His wrist does swivel too, I believe. Yes, it does. Okay, so his wrist has, so he does have a wrist swivel. He does have a waist swivel because of transformation. His um, legs can kick forward that far. Back, not so much because it's blocked by this. Uh, he can also do the full split, which is nice. And he does have a thigh swivel, bends. Uh, I bet he's going to bend a lot because of the transformation too. So yeah, he can bend a lot. So that's good. Uh, his feet can go up and down a little bit. Uh, if you want, you can count the toes. And he does have ankle pivot, which is cool. good. So yeah. So overall, I really like this guy. Um, I'm not going to lie. He looks pretty cool. Uh, let me give you a quick, a quick size comparison with... Uh, his other uh, wave mate here is sound wave and they look good together I really like the way this looks um, I really wish I brought Megatron and shockwave out but uh, they're on display right now so I'm can't show you guys with them but so far I'm really pleased of the Decepticon of uh, character choice so hopefully in the future they'll make more and I will eventually pick them up because I'm really digging this line uh, so far this line is my favorite and a uh, studio series so those are the only lines that I'm going to collect for now so because I, I feel like they're worth it uh, I will say this the plastic for the siege feel a little bit more better than the studio series um, correct me down below but let me know what you guys think about that plastic uh, choice uh, do you guys feel like the siege figures are more quality and the better than the studio series or do you prefer the studio series over these guys so let me know in the comments below I would like to know everyone's opinion of the Transformers line so yeah so yeah and of course if you want you don't have to but you can plug these in like he's about to shoot so yeah you can do that if you want so you can do that if you want Somebody's about to shoot you. Um, uh, another thing I don't really like is that when you rotate his arm, this goes on the side, so you would have to peg it in right here so that he's just shooting or something, but I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, do I recommend this guy? Absolutely, 100%. This is probably one of my favorite Starscream figures. Um, not a lot of people are going to agree with that, but since I don't have a lot of Transformers, you know, classics um, in my collection, um... The only Starscream I have is the Fall of Cybertron Starscream. Um, that figure is pretty good for the time it came out, but you know that was a video game uh, um, look of the character. But this just looks really cool, man. I'm really digging this. So yeah. So another thing I forgot to mention is his legs has a lot of battle damage too. If you guys want to know about that too, so he does have battle damage in the back, not so much, but yeah. He does have a lot of battle damage. You can see a lot of details, man. It's really gorgeous. You can see the turbines right here. They're painted guns in metal silver. Silver paint. Another thing I forgot to mention is he also does have light piping. Um, I don't have light right here, but you can kind of see it. But he also does have light piping, which is awesome, too. So, yeah. So, and of course, the Septicon logo on the back, which is nice. So, like I said... Gorgeous figure, highly recommend it. If you guys can find this guy, again, I found this guy at Walmart with Soundwave, of course. So that's the only uh, place to go to check the new, for the new Siege figure. So again, that is all I have to say, guys. So please comment, subscribe. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video. And this is Spidey1997 signing out and have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.